Okay, men, we're looking here once again at the fourth commandment of the Ten Commandments. These are the Ten Commandments for men that help you become the maximized man, help you to become the man that God designs you to be. And, and we looked at this uh, the last time. We looked at the fourth commandment, which is about remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And we talked about going to church. But I want to hit another part of this because the ninth verse gives us a little more insight on it. It says, six days you shall labor and do all your work. Now, I might say this, this is, this is not only a scripture, the fourth commandment about keeping the Sabbath day, going to church, but it's also about work. Men, we are designed to work. Do you know that the Bible says a man that don't work shouldn't eat? And you say, but I don't have a job. Can I tell you something, men? Even if you don't have a job, you should be working every day. Or you should at least be working six days a week. And you shouldn't be sitting at home in front of the television or in front of a computer or what have you. You should be working. Well, you say, where do I work? If nothing else, you can go to the house of God and you should be working there. You should act as though you had a job. If you need to be at work at 8 o'clock, if you had a job, you should be working someplace at 8 o'clock. You should be involved in activity. And I might say this we're supposed to be productive. That, that, that scripture about keeping the Sabbath day and keeping it holy also has to do with work because that's the explanation. We're supposed to work six days a week. We're supposed to be productive. We're not supposed to just sit around. We should be productive in life. The Bible says in all work, there's profit, there's increase. If you'll go out and work, it actually adds something to your life. One of the worst things that can happen to a man is to get unemployed and to do nothing because it robs something out of his soul. So men, you need to be productive. You need to find something that gets you moving. There's a law of physics that says a body in motion tends to stay in motion. A body at rest tends to stay at rest. Men need to be men of activity and men of motion. And for us to fulfill this great, this commandment is not just be in church, but we should be actively producing something. Man, how hard are you working? When you go to work, do you give your boss 40 hours or do you slough off half the time? Christians and Christian men should be the most productive men on the face of this earth.